In this video, we're going to be working on setting up some guidelines uh, for the mouth, and then we're going to use the pencil tool along with the art tool to complete that mouth. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do right away is uh, change my view. So I'm going to go right over here to the scenes, and I want to be looking top down uh, just to make sure I'm putting my mouth in the right spot. Um, I'm going to refer to our uh, blueprint here quick. Um, just to make sure I'm in the right location. So we are going down 250 millimeters from the top uh, and then our mouth itself is 50 millimeters wide or as far as tall uh, from top to bottom and then overall it's 220 millimeters. Um, it's in the middle of our uh, I guess 300 millimeter piece. All right so going into SketchUp here uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is go that 250 millimeters down. So Tape measure tool to lay out my guidelines. And um, we can always clean up those uh, extra ones too if we don't want those there anymore because we're done using them. Um, but I'm gonna select with the tape measure from the top, sliding down and go 250 and then hit enter. That's the top of the mouth. Uh, and then I'm gonna use the, gu the previous guideline that we just used or made. Um, and I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna slide down and I'm gonna type in 50. All right, now, uh, the next thing is, this is essentially going to be our uh, mouth top to bottom, but we got to have different guidelines for the width. Um, these are from the center of our eyes. It'll actually be a little wider. Uh, it said it's 220, all right? So if we take our difference there from 300, we have 80 millimeters, and I'm just going to go half of that so I can go to each side. So half of 80 is 40, so 40 millimeters from the left-hand edge and then also 40 millimeters from the right hand edge. All right, I'm gonna use my, oh, I misclicked, there we go. I'm gonna use my selection tool or the eraser tool to select my other guidelines that I don't need to, so it's not as confusing to look at, and delete them. If you notice, I selected the turn blue and do hit the delete key or backspace button. Um, also, eraser tool, if you select that, would also take it away. Now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the pencil tool to connect my top two intersections and I'm going to use the arc tool to connect the bottom. All right? So I don't have any more really data to push, I'm just going to be clicking. So the pencil tool is over here on the left hand edge, it is the fourth tool down. After I go there, I'm going to go to my first intersection, it should show up as an X. If you need to, make sure you zoom in just so you can see what you're doing to make sure you're in the right spot. I want to select and I want to select. Now. The pencil tool will follow you around, and it's not a big deal. We can go over here and grab our next tool. Um, but if you want it to stop following you around, just hit the escape key, upper left-hand corner of your keyboard, and that will stop the operation. Now we have the top drawn, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this two-point arc, which is the second tool down in the uh, arc tool options, which is after the pencil. And what we're gonna do is select it, and all we're gonna do is start by clicking on our endpoint of our first um, part of our pencil line, our straight line going across the top of the mouth, second click on the other side, and our third click is down here in the bottom intersection. All right, now we have our mouth created. All right, laid out and created. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps.